Hey guys and welcome to Day to Day Scott where I bring you daily content on entrepreneurship and personal growth. Six days a week, not Sunday, gotta give one day to your family as a little tip already for the video. So who am I and what do I do? I'm 23 years old, I graduated this year, I've got two and a half years experience in digital marketing and over a year experience in events. So what I do is I create my learning as an entrepreneur, as you'll know if you're an entrepreneur or someone's hungry for learning and success, that you learn lots from each day, reading articles, seeing stuff on social media, following influencers, inter, following interviews and so on. So what I do is I create this learning, it's content that will be valuable to you, therefore you're allowed, it allows you to learn from my mistakes and learn from what I learn and then we learn together and then we can push forward to achieve our goals and our dreams together. Like I said, this is a unique channel because I'm in the trenches, I'm in the grind as, they, as Gary Vee always preaches. I'm not at the top of the heights like you'll see most influencers on YouTube, I'm in the grind and I'm in the trenches so that's what makes it so raw and organic. You're probably wondering, especially if you're new to this channel, what the fuck is he doing in a hockey mask? Well, it's Halloween, I thought I'd get into the spirit. I did question about doing this because I was surprised at how terrifying I looked. I'm not a nutter, I'm not a weirdo. It's Halloween, I thought I'd get in the spirit. I'm not going to do it for the full video. But get in the spirit, guys, and let's go into my my second tip. Was my first tip was yesterday. I have a second tip on public speaking. Let's get in it, guys. See you in a minute. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back. With your permission, I'm going to take this off. Thank you very much. Oh. Um, I don't think I can do the whole video in that because you'll probably think I'm an utter and I don't want you to think that. So, but it is Halloween. Happy Halloween. Um, happy, happy Halloween. I celebrated last weekend, um, so I've already celebrated, but I hope you have a great night Halloween trick-or-treating. Hopefully it's all treats, not tricks. Anyway, let's get into the video. So, my second tip, my first tip was yesterday, so if you missed that, make sure you go back. It's, it's no longer than eight to 10 minutes, so go and see that first tip. My second tip on public speaking, let's get into it. So before I'm about to mention my second tip, let's give you a bit of a fact. Googling fear for public speaking yields 30.5 million hits. Okay, 30.5 million hits. The first page of results tells us how to fight, conquer, manage, and overcome the fear of public speaking. That was a, a fact uh, recently I got from a blog called Communication Rebel from Michelle Mazur. I'll put it down in the description. So that's crazy um, to think not just the, incre the amount of hits, but actually the biggest thing that comes up is fear. And what a great day to do fear and, and to talk about fear that on Halloween. It does not fit so nicely so my second tip is embrace the fear and do it anyway embrace the fear and do it anyway so let's understand this a bit more let's break it down a little bit so what is fear fear is that feeling in your stomach it's that anxiety and fear is very similar excitement all that is it's it happens in the same place in your stomach Okay, you'll feel when you feel that tight feeling, that's where fear is going to creep up. I mean, you'll feel that's why the butterflies, everyone sort of says, oh, I get the butterflies for, everyone feels that. You need to understand how to convert this fear into a buzz, into a feeling of euphoric feeling, into happiness and, and uh, well-being to help you move forward. Because like I said, excitement and fear do the same, it has the same physical impact on you they both give you this funny feeling in your stomach so what you need to do is trick your mind into it being excitement so you need to understand how to embrace it so that allows you to embrace the fear and turn it into excitement and make you an excitement it's a there's a really good trick that mel robbins um preaches um which you should definitely go look up um and mel robbins there's another one that i do here called snap happy and um, what i do is if you're scared you think about the scared you snap you think of a good emotion as think of excitement of why it's actually excitement and then you smile and you move forward. So there's, there's different versions of it. Go look up Mel Robbins. She has a version as well um, about un understanding how to put fear into excitement instead of uh, instead of pushing it away from something um, so you can move forward in, and have a successful talk. So if you run away from fear, it will just get worse. You have to understand that, guys. If you run away from fear, it will get worse. And... As well, if you run away from fear, you always will be. And something you have to understand is that if you run away from fear now, it will stay embedded in your life and your goals and your dreams until the day you die, until you face it. 
cast iron. There's no question about it. That fear will maintain in your life and maintain as a nuisance and impact, have huge impact and detrimental impact on both your dreams, your goals and anything you want to attain in life because it's just niggling, 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 niggling. Public speaking is huge and it will Def, like Warren Buffett said, I mentioned in the last video, it can increase your value by 50%. So it's so crucial that you don't run away from fear. And I'll give you a little quote that kind of opens your mind to this. It's a quote by Les Brown, a fantastic motivational speaker, I'm sure you know. And he says this, to start, you do not need to be great, but to be great, you need to start. To start, you do not need to be great, but to be great, you need to start. I mean, that just says it in it, in its all, doesn't it? It says, it, it, it concludes it as nicely as it can really, doesn't it? So that really allows you to understand how you should, you should embrace fear and just do it anyway with public speaking. Because the people embrace the fear and turn it into excitement and to enthusiasm to, to enhance their talk and enhance them in front of people and make the talk better will definitely do better. If you try to fight it or try to neglect it and not acknowledge it, it's, it's not going to work for you. You have to acknowledge it and you have to embrace it. And understand, guys, the fact that you're having fear just means that you care. Okay, so don't be scared that the fear, it doesn't mean you're weird, you're, you're human. It means you care about what you're about to do. It means you honestly care about what you're going to communicate to this audience. So it's so good to have fear is the greatest thing and it can be your greatest asset if you use it properly. So understand uh, how to embrace it and do it anyway. It's a key one and I think being Halloween, it has to, it's so in sync with today, isn't it? So, as always, guys, I hope you're getting value. That was my second tip with public speaking. Embrace fear and do it anyway. As always, it was a pleasure. I, please follow me and subscribe on all social media. YouTube, at Scott Mears. Twitter, at Scott Mears underscore. Facebook, at Scott Mears Entrepreneur. As always, guys, the best way to predict the future is create it as a top I wear every single time. That's one of my favorite quotes, so stick to it. It's a really important one. This was day to day, Scott. As always, it was a pleasure. Thank you very much, guys, and have a happy Halloween. Hopefully, treats, not tricks. Have fun, and I'll see you in the next one with our third tip. See you then, guys. Bye bye.